If you guys are looking for cheap, fast, and reliable Madden Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super great. They got fast 24-7 support. Make sure to check them out, and make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we are finally back in the regular office, in the regular setup, guys. Now, it was a tough week. Not because it was harder doing stuff other ways. It was just so uncomfortable, you know, being out of my element. Not having my equipment, not having my stuff. And of course, it, it slowed me down, of course, because it's, it's not about what I was using. It was more so how different it was than what I was used to. So I must remember everything was off. But guys, we're back. My computer's still not fixed. It said it could take two to four weeks now. So it sucks. But I did borrow a friend of my dad's computer who happens to be probably way more powerful than mine, surprisingly. So either way, we're back. It's fun. I have at least two weeks with this thing. So hopefully it's back by then. But guys, it feels good to be back. We're able to finally be able to be back in the, in the element, make multiple videos a day, because I will, you know, of course, be here throughout the day. But guys, before we get into today's video and go through everything, let's start with, let's start with the Poodle Squad. Shout out to today's Poodle Squad member, guys. We have Hurlbert. Shout out to you, man, for being part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support. I'll even do a second one today. Shout out to Angel Rubio. Appreciate you, man. Both of you guys for leaving cool comments. Thank you so much. Thank you for being part of the squad. Now, moving on from that, guys, if you want a chance to be shout out to the Poodle Squad, like the video, turn on the notification bell, and of course, subscribe to the channel. And comment down below, Poodle Squad. Don't forget about that. And that's about it, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe in general. And yeah, let's go check this out. So today, we're going to be doing our weekly mutt content, you know, for the following, the upcoming week. We're going to go over all the content that should be coming out this week. Now, we're going to start off with something that isn't guaranteed this week, but we know we're getting towards it. So I'm just going to give you guys a quick rundown on the uh, Harvest Pro. With it. This is going to be what to expect. This is going to be how to prepare. It's going to be none of that. It's going to be me briefly showing you guys what it'll look like, well, supposed to look like, and when we'll be seeing it. Now, Remember, today is the 8th, which means this upcoming week will go all the way up until about the 15th. So, could we see it within that range? I give it about a 20% chance. Because, again, remember, the even starting promo was a lot later than usual. And you guys have to understand that because they start promos a lot later than usual, the middle of the month has been a bit drier than usual. But they did drop a teaser like a week ago, which was earlier than the most fear teaser. So, I have hope there's a shot of it coming this week. No guarantees, but it would be really awesome if we could get it this week. So we have more time, because remember, we have Black Friday. We have the new consoles coming out in about two days. Two days from today, we'll, I'll have a new console in here, guys. I already got my confirmed call. I will have my Xbox by 7 a.m. on Tuesday, so that's really cool. So I'll have definitely some uh, some video footage for you guys on that one as well. But moving on from that, guys, coming on to the, the most uh, the Harvest. Let's start with this. So this is how Harvest looked last year. We had two masters. We had a Michael Irvin and a Nitro Lane. And then we had all the pieces. Now remember, the coolest thing about uh, Harvest is usually the Thanksgiving Day cards. Now those are not that they're the coolest, but they're the most interactive. So like guys will have like uh, objectives on them, and if they complete them on Thanksgiving Day, they will get higher overalls. So for example, Roquan Smith, he starts at a 90 overall, right? If he gets six plus tackles on Thanksgiving, he gets a 91 overall. If he gets also a sack, he gets 92 overall. He can go one or the other. It doesn't have to be both. Could be both. Now. The beauty of these cards is when you get them, let's say they go for like 140k, if they get their plus twos, they can go up to 280 and you can make a decent amount of coins on them. So it's kind of like almost like, it's almost like gambling in a sense, but like not, you know what I mean? Like, because at the end of the day, even if they don't go up, you kind of bought them for a base price. That's so not horrible. Uh, Adrian Amos, uh, we had Roquan Smith. Now let's see where the other ones were. I know there's much more than just that. The other Thanksgiving, uh, well, okay, so uh, Marshall Lattimore needed one pass defended, one interception. He only got one of those, I believe, because clearly you can see he was 91. TJ Hawkinson needed a touchdown and three plus receptions, so he got a plus one. Calvin Ridley needed 40 receiving yards and 100 receiving yards. He got the 40. I think he came pretty close to the 100. Micah Hyde needed four total tackles and interception. Dak needed three plus touchdowns, 250 yards. So I believe all, I don't think any of them were left at 90s, which is pretty interesting. Usually, like some of them are completely bust, but no, it seems like everyone they picked at least got their plus one, which is super great. But that, that's just, that's fun, guys. And then, of course, we have the regular stuff, and we have Masters now. I do expect to see Barry Sanders back as a master this year, more than likely. It would make sense to upgrade our current master. Now, that'd be the second time we got a master this year, which would be kind of, I guess, kind of uh, repetitive, but Barry Sanders is usually known for this. I want to see an RG3 Redskins, uh, RG3 Redskins or Barry Sanders, but again, I'll save that for another video. And moving on from that, guys, this was another cool feature last year. We got gold harvest cards that were able to be upgraded using harvest food collectibles. And you're able to take them all the way up to 92 overall. So as you see here, Adrian Amos, AJ Bouye, Ryan Kerrigan, Joey Bosa, Quentin Nelson, Zach Ertz, Odell Beckham Jr., and Tom Brady all had cards. They were like base cards, and you had to do the collection. You got one of them. You could get multiple, but you started with like one free one. And then you got to work them up getting free stuff from collectible, uh, free stuff from the solos, which is how you ended up with like Odell Beckham Jr. 92. So that would be pretty cool if we got something similar. 
Although I probably prefer 93. 92 will still get the job done for most teams. Now moving on from that, guys. Now that's just for the total week, right? Now we're back on Tuesday, which is Team of the Week Tuesday. Now for Team of the Weeks, we now have four consecutive weeks of 92 LTDs and multiple weeks of 91. So I'm almost positive it's going to be 93s this week because they did increase the Legends to 94. So I think it'll be 93s this week for sure for the LTD Leg uh, Team of the Week cards. Now again, I don't know Team of the Week yet. I will be doing my predictions tomorrow morning after watching today's games. Although I will be a little bit busy today, but I'll try to watch all the games you know as much as I can. I, th I, I mean, I want to, so I'll make it work. But um, overall, this Team of the Week, it's going to be 93 and 92s probably as the base uh, overalls now, which is cooler, which is better for everyone. I'm still holding that hope for that Chris Johnson um, Team of the Week card at some point, that throwback. There's so many cool throwbacks you could get. And I've guessed a few of them right. They just haven't been the right weeks, which kind of sucks. But again, still working towards getting one of those big weeks where you guess all of them right. But that's better for that, guys. Then moving on from there, we have uh, Wild Card Wednesday, which I do think will be power-up this week. I think Wild Card Wednesday could be power-ups. I could be wrong. I don't know if I'm out of order. Right, we got veterans. We got flashbacks. We got heavyweights. I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, it is power-ups next week. So power-ups are going to be cool because there's a lot of cards that do need power-ups. Like a Chase Claypool card, that would be really cool if we can get a power-up on him. Make him really dominant. But just to give an example, that was him. Now, again, we could have we a lot of guys who could use a power-up. I'm not sure who they'll give it to. But I, I don't believe, I think they dropped, was it 8 or 10? I don't remember how many, but if it's 8 or 10, has a decent chance. I just hope they don't do where they drop random guys, drop guys that we need. Or what they'll do is they'll drop guys that are coming out with Harvest, which is cool too. Drop a few guys that will be getting upgrades during Harvest that will make sure we can power them up properly. That'd be cool as well. Then Thursday, guys, we do have the LTDs. Now, LTDs have been 92s. Let's see. One week two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. So four weeks straight has been 92s. Again, I have to imagine it's going to be 93s next because look at it. It was 91, 91, 92, 92, and two, 92. So it's been double 92s, but they did drop Legends as 93, uh, 94 now. So I believe so Saquon, Deb McCourty, guys like them, they were amazing 92s, right? So when we get 93s, we could really be getting some banger LTDs. And I don't know who they'll drop that could really top Saquon because, you know, that's going to be like a, that's a metal running back. But either way, we're gonna be some. We're gonna get some pretty good probably on Thursday. Again, it depends on the name, depends on the player. But because the 93 overalls are gonna be competitive, regardless, as long as it's not like a defensive tackle or like a left tackle or something. And moving on from that, guys, Friday we do have the 50. Now the 50 just started going to 93 overalls, so expect it to stay there for quite a while. Now we are on the 51st team, so guys, if Ladainian Tomlinson and all these guys, Cole Pepper, Brett Favre, Julio, if these are all the second team. First team is gonna be filthy, right? Now I don't think that Anthony Barr falls under the first team. Kind of weird. Uh, Ogden, yes. Antonio Gates, possibly. Although these, I think all three of these cards, which is a bad drop. Ogden was good, but the overall was a bad drop. Now, this is the first one for the fit, uh, the first team, so I can see why. But guys, I do expect guys like Moss out of this. Maybe Calvin. There's a lot of banger potential in the 51st team. But either way, that's going to be Friday. Then Saturday, guys, we have Legends. Now you do know that Legends are now 94 overall, so they're going to be banger, banger. Like McNair and Ronnie, a lot of the two best players at their positions. Um, I don't know who they could drop more. I mean, again, we could get Calvin out. We could get Calvin out of this. We could get Randy. We could get quite a few guys. Michael Irvin hasn't gotten a card yet. We could get quite a few guys from this. Troy Aikman. But I don't know. It's hard to predict, guys, because they've, they've definitely fit in a lot more legends this year. We've got Steve McNair. Uh, we got Joe Montana back. Robert Mathis. John Hanna. Ricky Jackson. We got Edger and James. Like, there's been a lot of new guys this year. Um, let's keep moving on down. I mean, it's just hard because the set piece they're going to show. Junior Seau back. It's been a year of Reggie Wayne back. It's been a year of a lot of newer guys. So, like, it's been harder to predict in, like, our usual set, like, you know, around this time. But as we near Thanksgiving, I feel like we always get Michael Irvin cards, Night Train Lane card, Barry Sanders cards. So, we don't get Owen oh, Lawrence Taylor. We're going to get one of those sort before pretty soon. So, definitely stay tuned for that. But, guys, that pretty much does wrap up the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's upcoming weekly Mutt content uh, video. If you guys did enjoy and you want to see more of this every single Sunday, keep, like, keep smashing the like button. Turn that noty bell. Come join the Poodle Squad. And you can also be shouted on the Poodle Squad with those same instructions. And make sure to subscribe as well, guys. Come join the family. Let's keep growing. So excited for the cons on Tuesday. Finally, Next Gen Madden. Now, it's not the official Next Gen Madden. It's going to be Madden probably with upgraded graphics right now. And then December 4th, I believe, we will have the official Next Generation version of Madden. So that's going to be super exciting. But that's about it, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your Sunday. Watch some football games. I'm out. Peace.